My name is Caitlin Keefe and I am a third year Sacramento State student and we are here talking about why voting is important. What topic is most important to you in your everyday life? Uh, for me it's going to be climate change. Climate change is definitely a big impact in the world. An issue would be um, climate change and especially forest fires and how devastating they can be to communities and the forests themselves. In the last 30 years, climate change disasters have tripled. According to the World Meteorological Organization, 2022 is expected to continue the run of the world's hottest years, which is above the pre-industrial period. Water rising is just, you think about your future now, it's just, all of it's not going to be there. All of the beauty and everything's not going to be there. All of our safe environment isn't going to be as safe as it once was. And it's just, I feel like we just need to change that. And by changing that, we need to vote. The United States of America has approximately 5% of the world's population. In contrast to that, the United States has 25% of the incarcerated population in the whole world. That is a big, ugly mess. Why? Is because your tax dollars are going to pump this prison industrial complex. And so I bring that up because your vote is so important. Because we want to change the narrative. We want to pump the dollars into the educational complex. Because those youngsters that are coming after us, we want to give them something with a hope and a future. But if we don't vote, it's going to stay the same. Well, um, you know, when bad things go wrong and people don't like the outcome, it's kind of like, well, I mean, if you would have voted, you possibly could have did something about that. But, yeah. We've covered topics including climate change, incarceration rates. Other students will be talking about childhood obesity, homelessness, and student debt. For me, when it comes to voting, I believe health and fitness is something that everybody should actually start doing. The long-term consequences of childhood obesity are well established and they include the risk of heart disease, cancer, mental health disorders, and diabetes. Childhood obesity will likely enhance existing inequities and in families living in poverty. In the past two to three years, child obesity has actually sprung up about 80% due to the fact of school closures. A lot of kids nowadays are just playing video games relaxing at home, being couch potatoes as you would call them, due to the fact that they're just watching TV or making videos with their friends on YouTube, but instead not going out playing games as kids should. One of the big issues that matters to me is our growing problem of homelessness. It seems to always be addressed but never resolved and it's always a continuing growing issue that always seems to be multiplying instead of decreasing and it just needs to be acted now before it gets any worse. As of January 2020, 72% of homeless Californians were unsheltered. I'm personally interested in homelessness in college students, but, well, I know many people is interested in many different topics, um, and that's why I think it is very important to vote. In regards to student debt, from 2007 to 2020, there was an increase in borrowers from 28.3 million to 42.9 million. The amount of student debt in 2020 totaled nearly $1.6 trillion, more than twice the amount outstanding in 2008. Um, from personal experiences, I think it creates an overall like sad look on America because it seems like we're neglecting all these helpless people when there's other countries such as uh, Japan that help out these people to keep them off the streets and get them back onto their feet. But here in America, like San Francisco, you see them roaming around and just being ignored or being pushed away and never helped. California counted 161,000 unhoused people in the state as of January 2020. What concerns me the most about people voting is the exploitation of labor that's going on in the United States right now. The labor force that is being exploited the most would be undocumented and documented immigrants. They're mostly people of color who can't advocate for their, for their uh, conditions in the workplace. They are forced or coerced into unsafe working conditions with very little pay. 
and they have no representation like a lot of affordable housing legislation that's going on is not passing because it's not that sexy of an issue for young people to care about, but it really affects a lot of young people. And if we don't like focus on these things and read the ballots and really understand what we're voting on, we're not going to have the protection that we need to be able to buy houses in the future, to be able to pay our rent next month. Like it's really crucial stuff. Why is voting important to you? Uh, it's important to me because uh, all my life I was taught that uh, voting definitely does do a change for you and a change for your community as well. Um, I think a good reason to vote is that not one person can change something like climate change so that if everyone is working together we can really deal with this issue that is hurting everyone. Let's break that school to prison pipeline and let's make it a school to career pipeline. Let's produce productive citizens of the world. Your vote matters. Get out and vote. Vote. You can make a difference. It's very important and your vote does matter. Right now it is very important to vote especially for health and fitness. Voting is very important because we want to hear what you have to say. We want to hear from the people itself what is important to you. That is why voting is so important so that way we can understand what you want rather than just what others want. All right, if I could vote, anyone could vote. So you should go out there and get out and vote and stop complaining, stop crying about, oh, our president is this or, oh, this is this problem. If you want to make a difference, the only way to is to vote. One person can do anything about it, even if many people have different perspectives about one thing. But if that person unites with other people who think the same, then they can change something and actually do something for the for the country. Yes. So it is very important to vote. <laughs> Please vote. The importance of the representation of people is all dependent on our votes and how often we vote. So it's really important that you vote and voice your opinion and advocate for yourself and your community's needs. Please get out and vote. It's really necessary. We all need to be heard, and without your vote, nothing's going to change. We've covered many topics today, so please go out and vote for our future. <laughs>